Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nobby back again. Alright, um, so, you know, I have a couple of videos up about how black lives don't matter to black women, right? And this is stuff that's been going on um, that black men have been talking about, especially the black men that are in some kind of spirituality um, that, um, that read scripture, that um, read the ancient books on how we used to conduct ourselves and how we were how we're trying to get back to conducting ourselves okay um for some of us um black men we are at the king james and haven't gotten as far as um further than that some of us are way beyond that using older uh manuscript some people are using other stuff but um basically at the end of the day we all come to the same conclusion whether we're using the septuagint a more a, a hebrew um um an ancient text um the king james um whatever the black men are doing one we're reading and we figured that the way has been lost but it ain't us it is us but it isn't we're doing some stuff but we're not the source of everything that's going on all right and we are starting to man up so to speak and stay away from the source and yes that's right you guessed it the source is the black woman here's the thing this is why you call it the source everything has she has been given the fruit the forbidden fruit and she has been using it to manipulate the man like back in the garden all right but a lot of us men has have what um have wised up and seen them for who they really are all right now the black most black women they're not going to listen to black men when we are telling them about themselves matter of fact many black women have shot shut down a lot of videos from black men and the only way to avoid it is to pay attention to your content and just block them out before they even get there because they mean evil to black men they don't want them to succeed in anything they don't want them to succeed in anything worse than the white man how bad is it that black women are number one in abortion when you take into account their population to the rest of the women in the united states all right so for the black women that come on here want to start some mess okay they might not want to hear that from me but they white daddy this is how he they are destroying the black lives matter movement started by three black women and funded by Cyril. all right um and the um check out this guy that guy from 400 yeah <laughs> i guess that's what it is all right and you know in my comment section he brought this to my attention um he he has he has some videos up and he um put the senator's remarks in the videos he told me to check it out i went over there checked it out so i put the senator's remarks um in here because um i have a couple of videos putting up the statistics and everything all right and people just gloss over because y'all know i put my information up there but these sisters might have a hard time glossing over this guy's stuff um, cause he's saying it on the floor of the Congress and you know, he's going to be fact checked if it was wrong. Right? So guess what? Black women here it is from your daddy, the white man, the guy you emulate. This is y'all's wretched behavior from out of his mouth. Now it isn't say, I, I would, let me just say this. When we say black women, we mean that most of y'all he didn't say a hundred percent 
uh, obviously babies are, are being born by black women. All right. But listen to this remarks and I'll be back with my commentary. All right. So oh, I forgot. This is a reluctant Nobby news and views. And here's my views on the news. Oh, and to my piece, um, way to the bang. Bonjour, mes amis. Um, was is los? Uh, guten Tag. Uh, was is los? Um, ni hao, ni hao ma. And Kedu. I'd like to now yield to uh, Sean Duffy. Uh, Sean authored legislation earlier uh, this year, last, late last year, uh, that would have protected states that decided to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, it passed overwhelmingly, and I want to thank him for his leadership as well. I appreciate the gentleman from New Jersey uh, yielding and uh, am grateful for his powerful advocacy uh, for the unborn in his whole tenure here in Congress. Uh, you have been a true leader uh, and an inspiration for some of us who have come after you. Uh, I've been in this institution for five years. And over the course of that five years, I've heard many of my liberal friends and a lot of friends from the Congressional Black Caucus talk about how there is targeting and unfair treatment of African Americans in the criminal justice system. I've heard them. In financial services, I hear them talk about how big financial corporations target African Americans and minorities. As I turn on my TV, I listen to Black Lives Matter talk about how police and law enforcement are targeting African Americans, minority communities. I hear a lot in this institution from minority leaders about how their communities are targeted. But what I don't hear them talk about is how their communities are targeted in abortion. There are some stunning facts. The African-American community is 15% of the country as a whole, but account for 40% of the abortions. 15% of Americans, 40% of the abortions. In New York City, the most recent stat, African-American women had more abortions than live births. There is a targeting going on in a lot of spaces and a lot of places. And it's going on in the abortion industry. And my friends, my liberals, Congressional Black Caucus members, they talk about fighting for the defenseless and the hopeless and the downtrodden. But there is no one more hopeless and voiceless than an unborn baby. But their silence is deafening. I can't hear them. Where are they standing up for their communities, advocating and fighting for them, their right to life? Black Lives Matter, they do. And Indian, and Asian, Hispanic and white, all those lives matter. We should fight for all life, including life of the unborn. Uh, listen, in, 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 we talked about this a lot tonight. In two weeks, there is going to be an amazing march that takes place right here at the Capitol. And you are going to see tens of thousands of people come out and support life. Now, you're not going to see the national media cover this. They're going to ignore it. Tens of thousands of people. Just think how powerful that rally is going to be when you have Reverend Al Sharpton standing on the stage talking about how he's going to fight for his community and his unborn babies and all the Congressional Black Caucus standing behind him going, you know what? We are going to fight for these defenseless and voiceless little babies. Hey, I'll call you right back. Targeted. And just think. If our president, who sheds a tear for violence, goes to the West Wing and sheds a tear for the unborn, I can only hope and pray. I yield back. Thank you very much. You know, Martin Luther King's niece, Alveda King, has had two abortions, and she made one of the most passionate comments, speeches I've ever heard, when she said, how can my uncle's dream survive if we murder the children? And she is, she is now pro-life, and she says the other co-victim in every abortion besides the baby is the mom, and she is a victim herself. So, All right, so here we go. Let me point out some things. Black people are 15% of the population. Okay? Um... Black women are 
are about um, black people are 15 percent of the population black women are about nine percent of the population making black men about six percent of the population in the United States okay y'all understand that so about eight or nine percent of the females in the United States are responsible for 40 percent of the abortions in the United States y'all understand the gravity of that eight to nine percent let's make it higher ten percent still ridiculous so eight to ten percent of the female population in the United States is responsible for 40 percent of the of the abortions they're responsible for 40 percent of the abortion that means the other 92 percent of women are responsible for 60 percent that's like the weed thing black women constitute eight or nine percent of the population but they're responsible for 70 percent of the weave purchases everything that is ratchet and evil black women seem to be doing the most in new york he pointed out understand this they had more abortions than they had live births. It ain't the police killing us. It's black women. They're killing our dreams. They're killing everything. Um, remember my last story on Pinky? This is a woman that's involved in the porn industry and other black women like her. Wonder how many abortions that they had. The women at the beginning wonder how many abortions they had. I wonder how many abortions did they have in that group? How many um, the black dolls, how many abortions are they going to have? You see all these dance shows um, w um, on TV with this um, lady um with the gap, I mean, having these girls dance like hoes and hoochies. And they made a whole TV show about it. Oh, she got to go and show her stuff. All a bunch of single hair headed females gotten their girls um, dancing, throwing their hair around that ain't theirs. It's somebody else's DNA. Right? And how many abortions are they going to have? How many thugs they going to get screwed by? Black Lives Matter, not to black women. It ain't the police killing most of us. Here are my final thoughts. Back in the day, men were able to march is because men existed. Both physically and mentally. We had numbers. Black women have eviscerated our numbers through all these abortions. Not only that, they have re eviscerated the mentality of men by destroying that mentality, that man mentality, while these children were boys. Black women are the ones responsible for killing us off in ways that we can't even fathom. They're killing the spirit. They're killing the mind. They're killing the work ethic. And they're killing us physically. And I would say that with that said, I'm out. But for those of you that tuned in this far. Alright. I got this thing going on. And here we go. All right, I'm going to do a, a little contest, right? Um, I, um, I got a hold to some Invicta watches. And this is going to be my first contest. And all my contests are going to be for my subscribers, right? 
and this one is going to be and this is a award for uh, my views and stuff for um, for those of, that, of you that subscribe to my channel and um, give me support and point out ideas and stuff like that all right so um, this is going to be my first contest and it's going to be about content on my channel I'm gonna put the video up Saturday and so everybody that has um, that uh, everybody that is subscribed on my channel by 11:59 and 59 seconds Friday night um, will be able to um, participate. Ain't no money or anything like this. Um, this is a giveaway to the person, to the first person that can answer some questions. If there's a tie, there will be a, a type of tiebreaker, right? And so. Um, basically, um, this is a dive watch. Um, it's water resistant all the way up to 990 feet. So it is a scuba dive watch and it's a, a, a fashionable dive watch, right? Um, with the rotating bezel and everything. Um, and so basically, um, so basically, I am going to start this contest on um, I'm gonna start this contest at, for all my subscribers everybody that subscribed from by 11:59 and 59 seconds all right and um, and again I would like to thank um, uh, the gentleman uh, go to his page uh, he has he has some um, good content up there and he had the the videos in his description box so go to his page give him a shout out all right and this is the reluctant Navi shouting out to him all right so basically um, this is going to be a 52 millimeter pro divers um, yeah pro diver sea diver um, with a silicone strap and is water resistant up to 900 and I don't know why I'm playing with the other one is water resistant up to 900 and um, 90 feet so I, I hope y'all can get a, a, a good idea of what it looks like from the gold one all right so it's brand new um, never open and it'll come with um, I guess the Invicta warranty and so when you get it make sure you register it okay so it'll come with a little yellow slip an Invicta warn um, uh, warranty but make sure when you get the watch I found out the hard way you got to register these things um, when you get them make sure you register it um, when you get it whoever wins all right with that said I'm out this is the reluctant Nobby and thanks um, Dang, dude, I forgot the name. But it's at, hey, it's at the beginning. All right? So go check out his channel. All right, with that said, I'm out.